What's good guys, uh, Lee Chichani Slash here. Gonna show you um, a really sweet and fast way to be uh, 525 in first dating. And uh, it's really easy. Yesterday um, I realized I didn't have a first dating on either one of my uh, 85s because I don't know, I just didn't really have the desire to have it. And um, yeah, so I got them both to 525 yesterday in about two, three hours, which is a pretty good time to get first dating up to full on both tunes. The other neat thing is I spent um, the least amount of gold possible. I think I only spent about 600 gold total for both my characters, so 300 gold apiece, so that's not bad. Um, so you talk to this girl inside the cathedral light, and she'll start, yeah, she'll give you the first thing, which is going to be um, linen cloth. And uh, sometimes on servers, people are crazy when it comes to low beat cloths because nobody gets them anymore, and they price them way too high. So um, what you're going to want to do is... Um, it's very quick and easy actually. You're going to want to go into stockades and farm that for a good 10-15 minutes and you will get stacks upon stacks of wool, maybe a little bit of silk and linen. And um, yeah, it's super easy, you know, level 85 going through stocks or even a level 80, anything really that's not, you know, 20 is going to charge through stocks really fast. So yeah, just going to give you a quick example. And there's way more tips on this video because uh, I know how ember silk cloth can be uh, pretty expensive, but I'm going to show you guys how to farm about 10 stacks plus per hour, and it'll be really sweet. So what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling random people and whatnot. And uh, yeah, because obviously I'm a little 85, I could take it. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do this whole thing, but um, yeah. Uh, a thing to do is to not go down the fiery place where all the elementals are because because they don't drop any cloth that I know of because I went down there once and they didn't drop anything so I'm assuming they don't drop cloth which would make sense so, yeah, then you're gonna, just gonna loot everyone they should always drop some wool and linen like their four wool which is you know that's really nice considering you'll get I did three runs yesterday per, per person and I got like five stacks of wool So yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, just uh, yeah, make sure you pull all the humans and then all the null hogger things. And uh, yeah, just in that first little mob with about 10-15 people, I got 16 wool cloth. So obviously that's very uh, very profitable because sometimes on the auction house those things can be like 5 to 10 gold a piece, which um, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah. Um, so yeah, then what you're going to want to do after you do that is you're going to probably actually want to buy silk. Maybe yeah, silk, mage weave, and rune cloth. Those are like the next after linen and wool, and they're not that expensive. Uh, like I said, that's where I had to start buying them. And then, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to buy nether weave and frost weave. Frost weave is actually more expensive at the moment on my server than ember silk, and I actually had to buy it, which is where most of my gold went because I did not feel like going to Northrend and farming it. I could have, but yeah, for the sake of time, I wanted to just get it done with. Um, so. Once you get all that done, uh, actually another nice tip for stockades is that if you just want to go in there and farm that kind of stuff, you can always bring a lobby with you and have them pay you to do gold per run, like I don't know, five gold per run, because it takes you about, you know, ten seconds pretty much. And then tell them to loot everything while you're killing everything and then uh, have them give you all the cloth and then you can either use it for first aid or you could throw it up on the auction house. Uh, either way, uh, you're making a pretty nice uh, penny there. But yeah, so the next thing you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to go to this girl here. I'm going to type in Potion of Treasure. Uh, oops, Treasure. And yeah, it's cost 124 gold. Uh, but it's well worth the investment because it makes you, it makes Ember Silk and Volatiles and all that kind of stuff drop like crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. And then the best place you're going to want to do this in is in um, either, normally I, I did it in um, Twilight Highlands or I usually go to Tolbarad, like the, um, the little island thing, you know, just uh, to kill people in, where are you, whoops, nope, stupid map, <laughs> you're going to want to kill people, nope, Tolbarad Peninsula, thank you. You're going to want to kill people right here on the restless front 
Or I found that uh, killing people in the spidery place, yeah, to uh, be very good because they drop chests left and right, and you open it and it's like ten embers of cloth, four volatile fires. It's just crazy. And yeah, that's definitely a lot of profit. And yeah. Let's see if I can get a quick example. So I pretty much only uh, drink the potion right before you uh, right before you go into the thing and start up <clears throat> farming because uh, obviously you want to utilize every second of the potion. Um, yeah, so I'm just charging through here because I like it in the other side. The reason why the wrestle front is so good is because there's people that attack each other. The NPCs attack each other, and uh, and then they get down to about 19,000 health each, like this right here. And then all you have to do is uh drink the potion and go to town. You should just throw an unstable bolt on each and then drain. Because, yeah, then they both die. You know, they die really fast. And, uh, yeah, even these guys, the ghastly scavengers, you're going to want to kill too. It's really awesome. Ember so cloth. Yeah. So, yeah, and all these people have really low health, so they don't take that long. Obviously, I'm a warlock. It takes a little longer because it's damage over time, not damage at the fucking moment. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much every one in every about ten kills, you'll get a chest, and that'll really give you all the crap that you need. I'm pretty sure there's a a lot of people farm ember silk here. I just drink the potion too because it gets me all those extra things, and yeah, it's really nice. Oops, looks like some guy didn't finish his business. That's pretty much all you're gonna do, and um, it's really easy. It's actually uh, cool. I mean, you're bound to get into some PvP combat if you're on here, obviously. But um, it's not too bad, especially if you go like I am right now, pretty early in the morning. And yeah, come on, just die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go, tiny treasure chest. And what this will give you is a number of different things. Sometimes it's ember silk, sometimes it's all volatile, sometimes it's uh, elementium ore and that kind of stuff. So let's see what we get. Oh, would you look at that? You get 11 ember silk, 4 volatile fire, and 2 volatile life. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Like I said, any questions, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I get the cash with Johnny Slash, people. Alright, thanks guys. Uh, peace out.